Hi and welcome to another tutorial of the Bear Marketing Network content management system. Uh, this is going to be a quick version of how to change an image on your website or how to add an image. Uh, there is a longer version with more depth and more detail so please look at that if you still have questions. Uh, the first thing you have to do is pick a page. We're going to pick our practice page. Okay when that page comes up uh, the first thing we want to do, if there's already an image present, there's two ways to change it. The quick way, right when you're looking at this, you don't even have to go into the edit bubble. You don't have to click the button or the edit bubble to bring up all the editing information. Um, I'm going to zoom in here so I can show you this. If you hover over the image, an editing icon appears in the middle of that. Click on it. Zoom back out. It brings you to the image library. Simply uh, pick one of those images by hovering on it and clicking on it. So let's uh, click this one right here. A um, couple choices here. If the image you're replacing is not the same size as the original image, then this screen will pop up and you have two choices. Down at the bottom here, if it says use raw image, that means you the new image that you're putting in there, you're going to use it in its original sizes. Um, if you want to maintain the same size, the same width and height of the picture that you are replacing, then you'll see um, these rotating lines here um, indicate that size. You can, if you just put your cursor in the middle of that, you can move it up and down, and sometimes right and left, uh, depending on how it is, and you can select the area of your new image that is the same size as the old image. Or you can grab a corner, meaning you hover over the corner, wait for it to turn to a double-sided arrow, and you can change the size. Again, it's going to maintain the same height with proportion, so you can't distort the picture. Okay. Um, once you do that, you can move it anywhere you want and say, this is the portion I want. Obviously, that's a boring portion there. Um, right up here, we've done a little better cropping. Uh, when you get what you want, you click finish. And that's all there is to method number one. Uh, method number two, um, actually let's go through another quick version. We're going to hover over this picture. We're going to click the image edit in the middle of it. We're going to pick the same picture simply by clicking on it. This time we're going to click on use raw image. And what that's going to do is take the entire photo and squish it into the same size of the image that we're replacing. So it's going to appear a little distorted if we do that, usually not a good idea, unless you know you're swapping pictures of the exact same size. Okay, so as you can see that's coming out a little bit distorted. So, method number two, what we're going to do here, is click on the edit bubble for this area. We're going to go in here, we're going to see, okay, here's the image. You click on the image here and you get these little uh, grab buttons around the side to indicate that you've selected this image. If you want to get rid of this image you just click delete and then you can add another image any place you want it by putting your cursor wherever you want that picture. Or if you want to edit this image we simply go up here we select the icon for the uh, edit, click on that and let's choose a new image here. Actually I chose the same one and notice it's back to its original dimensions, 180 by 262. Um, let's leave this one, pick left, by choosing the class pick left. We click update there, and now you can see it's normal looking again. You click OK, and there you go. Um, so if you want to avoid distorting the picture, the best way is to go and click on the edit bubble you click the image. This time let's choose a different image. Appearance. Uh, this one is 200 by 300 which is very different than the previous one. We're going to leave the class as pick left and click update and then OK. And there you go. So that's all there is to changing images in the content management system. Please view our longer video on this if you have additional questions.